The Rumor Report. Guys, guys. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. We have Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk. Let's talk about what happened on her Facebook show yesterday. The theme was addiction. And Jada Pinkett Smith's mom, who's also on the show, Adrian, talks about her own addiction problems. Here's what she had to say. I abused drugs for over 20 years. There's a stigma and a stereotype attached to addiction that makes it difficult for people to seek the help that they need. So... You know, if I can in any way help with just a little bit with some of that, then it'll be worth it. Now, Jada Pickett's Miss Mama, Adrian, has been sober for 27 years, clean and sober. And uh, this is what Jada Pickett Smith had to say about knowing her mom had a drug addiction. I think I didn't find out my mother was addicted to heroin until I was in my teens. I could tell when my mother was high. She couldn't make it on time to pick me up from school or she's nodding off falling asleep in the middle of something you just realize oh that's not being tired that is like a drug problem i wonder how jada turned out so well like well, who, who's she, in her life she talks, her about, she talks about her own addiction problems which we'll get to in a second but august alcina joined them as well and talks about his own issues you were given Percocets in order to deal with the pain of the yeah, fall. Yeah, I literally had an endless supply of perks. How many perks would you take a day? Now, see. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you don't have to answer I, no, that question. No but I just, I just remember honestly, you telling me, all right, so I do six perks a day. My buddies do 20. Yeah. And he said, I'm not addicted. He said, I'm not an addict. I, well, I didn't believe I was. It's very easy to get addicted to that. I, I was addicted to painkillers for a, a brief moment in my life. After, Percocets? After a car accident. No, I think it was Oxycontin. How many, how many you were taking? I don't know, like three. Three a, a day? day? Yeah, three, four a day. See, I'm scared of all them drugs. I'm you know what? Tylenol, when I got my wisdom teeth pills, pulled, I, I ended up having to take uh, painkillers. But I never felt like I could get addicted to them because they made me so out of it. Is Oxycontin a painkiller? That's mm-hmm. a painkiller? Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And I, I couldn't do anything. Like, I would take it, and then I just couldn't function. I couldn't. I would <laughs> I just be so out of it. But that's not that's not cool to me. I loved that feeling back then. Just I was like, out. man, I can't do anything. So even with my wisdom nothing. teeth pulled, I I'm was like, you. I'm going to just rough it out. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't even take aspirin, really. Like, I just, whatever. I can't now, August of Alcina also talks about why he's clean. You called me and, like, literally broke down about, oh, yeah. about it. And I was just like, oh, we can't love you more than you love yourself. I can't. And see, that was the thing, right? Sort of to, to feel your emotion and hear you bawling. That was really a reality check for me because I was like, wow, if someone else can love you that much that it hurts them, why doesn't it bother you that you're actually hurting yourself? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that moment really that was your bottom. changed the trajectory of my life. I've always liked August Alcina, and the reason mm-hmm. I like August Alcina because he's very self-aware, and he's always trying to evolve and grow. I got a fake book club, so, like, you know, certain people I'll send book recommendations to, and they'll send me book recommendations, Karen Civil, mm-hmm. and August Alcina is definitely on that list. He always hits me up and asks me what I'm reading. I got to check on I haven't checked on him I in, in a minute. Him, uh, like, the week before last. So I ain't All right, now, Jada Pinkett also talks about her own addictions. Now, she discusses periods of time when she was addicted to the gym and also when she feels like she may have had a drinking problem and a sex issue. Check it out. When I was young, I definitely think I had a sex addiction, <laughs> that everything could get be fixed by sex. Then I became a gym addict. I was just in the gym constantly. Just And then I remember reaching a rock bottom. That time I was in the house by myself, and I had those two bottles of wine and was going for the third bottle, and it was like, now hold up. You in this house by yourself going on to your third That's gangster. bottle of wine. You What's going have on? A problem. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Those sound like rich people addictions. Those are first, <laughs> those are first world addictions. Sex, Sex, the gym, yeah. and a few yeah. bottles of wine. Come on, man. We out here smoking crack. I wish I could get addicted right, to the gym. We out here on heroin. Well, what, was so, what was so bad that, what, that she we was We out here on pills. The three bottles of wine. Tell me like, about wine in the gym. Well, you're sitting at, in the house by yourself drinking three bottles of wine. Mm. Three bottles of wine is a lot. Three bottles of water is a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Pinkett Smith Winfrey knows so, caller, but come on with those first world addictions, man. You know, if she feels like she had an issue and could identify that, then that's what it is. She said she went cold turkey. After that, she said she binges and that she has to watch herself. She can get obsessed with things. Binges on what? The gym? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Cold turkey on the gym? And And wine and sex. sex? 
Yeah. Okay. And people do have sex addictions where they feel like sex will fix whatever issues it is that you have. That's not like a great week to me. Gym, sex, and wine? Yeah, but we're talking about addiction. Not in too much. Overdone. No, can't have too much wine. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor Even though report. there's a big old sign in the gym that says, too much gym says nobody, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, you can have, you can, being in the gym a lot doesn't affect anything, and having a lot of sex is always good. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.